，文姬，哎，文姬 ，Let's go 哎 ，I'm hungry。I don't know. You choose. Should I tell my friends that I want to eat mahi mee for supper? What if they scold me? I just love it. I just love mahi mee. Okay. Dude, we won't scold you. But not every instant noodle is Maggi. Okay. It's like blue tag, scotch tape, Velcro. They have their real names, but we just refer to the brand name that we are most familiar with. By the way, what you're eating is Coca, a Singapore brand. The world's first instant noodle was chicken ramen. Yes, C H I K I N, and it was created by this guy, Momofuku Ando. In 1958, under his company Nissin, Ando sold his flash fried noodles, and Japan loved it so much they consider it their best invention of the 20th century. The cup noodles that we see today was only invented in 1971. Since then, the instant noodle market has exploded with so many brands. According to the World Instant Noodle Association, 100.1 billion instant noodles were eaten in 2017, and Asia makes up 80% of the top 15 countries with highest demand. 吃面啊，面好了。哦 ，OK OK OK， Thank you, Andy. 年轻人还是比较喜欢吃可口面。不要看一碗小小的，我们有下很多的功夫。Actually, why can't I just cook this at home? 汤是用猪骨来熬几个钟头，家里的那些你随便煮，小孩子都会煮。安迪，阿恩森卤肉炒底是属于健康的面的，我们用的面是素的，烘干而已，没有炸的。他讲说晚上为什么你们这么多人喜欢吃你的可口面？好吃又便宜。遇到他是老板，开始做的时候，老板没有办法知道个人个人你什么的口味啊。现在久了啊，他一直用他的头脑自己去改变摊位，给人家吃的爽口，吃的健康。马来人跟华人煮的口味都不一样。你听过 Maggi g o r i n g 吗 ？Have have， 可口面 soup version。Maggi g o r i n g is stir fried， but with sambal right。Maggi goreng. We have sambal made using 22 ingredients, so the taste is definitely power packed. If you want robust flavor, definitely you have to go for the red Maggi goreng, brown Maggi goreng. That one we don't put the sambal if people don't want any spicy Maggi goreng. Is it weird to serve instant noodles at the food stall? Instant noodle is very popular among the youngsters. Nowadays, youngsters they don't like to eat heavy food, and they prefer variety as well. Do people avoid Maggi goreng because they think that it's unhealthy? Forty-five years ago, a generation at that time maybe feel that Maggi is basically lots of MSG or unhealthy. But nowadays, the generation no longer thinks so. Hmm. Okay. So hawkers have added instant noodles onto their menu. Will restaurants do the same? Hello. Today I'm gonna prepare for you. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, back later. All right. Okay. Hello. Yes. We create a few things like soft shell Indomie crab, Indomie street stroganoff, create a blue turkey, and with an Indomie stuffing that is Indonesian. Why Indomie though? It's something that is so simple, so easy to cook, so unique in the restaurant, and everybody knows what Indomie is. So I was thinking, if Indomie can be accepted by people, why don't we bring it into the restaurant as a fine dining item? So basically, you make junk food at us. Oh no, I'd be I'd be offended if you say it's a junk food. It's not. It's one of the most versatile, most comfort food that exists. You know, a guy can come up to the Mount Everest and still cooking noodles. Yeah, it's more a convenient food than a junk food. And anyway, Indomie is more fine and it goes well with almost everything. Do people actually pay for atas Indomie? People say, I'm coming back asking for more. So now we're putting it on our menu. Indomie by itself is just a noodle. You can create anything with your noodles. Oh, is it? There has been instant noodle soft shell crab, instant noodle naga, instant noodle everything, right? Today I'm gonna make my own instant noodle dip. It's not meant to be powder form. Powder form instant me is flour. Two spoons of mayo, pepper, um, the ketchup, mm, butter, paprika, some sugar, instant me. I will not eat this. Eh. It's really gross. Okay, so now I'm gonna do an egg roll. Oh fuck! 
interesting. Ah! I add the egg. It's actually not bad. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's now try to flip it. Oh wow, look at this! Okay, let's smear this all over. Come on, ah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I think it should just stay in noodle form. Okay, so even though I failed, uh, I think that in general, like Maggi Mi is like you can find it anywhere and like everyone loves it. Yeah, and it's also very versatile. Though. Like you can eat it as a snack, as supper, as dinner, as lunch, as breakfast, anything you want. But maybe I'm just not suited to be the person like R&D this. Yeah, should leave it to the pros. Ha 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 ha, big laugh. <laughs>